My amigos? Oh, yeah! My amigos, welcome back, kids! Welcome back, my amigos! That's Mikey Boy right there in the shot. Oh, yeah. This is about a week ago, I believe. Uh, I'm kind of keeping track of my swing and how everything is functioning. Uh, so you guys are looking good, my amigos! This video will be short and sweet, and I will make sure that it does stay that way. And so I have written down a small list of things that I would like to cover. Here it is. And the main objective of this video is I paid my taxes recently, and so I uh, received, you know, the totals for the year of 2018. And how much I earned, how much I spent on playing golf, and uh, let's get to the first thing, which is the swing is looking a lot better, my amigos. Let's evaluate. You see that? I've gone back to the open club face. Uh, hey, listen, I tried the closed to closed club face, which the majority of the pros do. I know that not all of them do it, but the majority of them do, and I opened my club face immediately because I wanted to flatten out the swing because I had the baseball swing for so long. And the reason why I had the baseball swing for so long is because I played baseball for 33 years or so. And so how can you compete with 33 years of swinging a baseball bat and only six years of playing golf? There's just no way. So to get rid of the old habits, that I used to have in baseball, the only thing I could do is immediately flatten out the club face and then just raise it up. Now, is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I've only been playing for six years, so it's difficult to tell. I know that the majority of uh, the pros will go to a closed club face on the take back and then it'll slowly open up but the majority of the golf pros didn't play baseball for as long as I did. Anyway, you see, this is exactly what I didn't want to do. Is I didn't want to start ranting about a bunch of other crap. So the earnings for 2018, my amigos, let's get on with it. So I played 27 days of competition. More or less. I played in the city amateur and I made the cut. So I played three days of golf there. I played in 27 tournaments. You can see here beginning in February and ending in Terralago in December. So the tournament fees for the most part, the cost to play the tournament, which is usually about 150 bucks. And then there's a $10 fee that goes to a year end fund. And then there's administration fees because Jimmy and Joyce don't do this for free. I mean, this takes time. It's a business is what it is. I mean, you know, and I appreciate what they do because otherwise I would have to be setting up tee times. I would go I have to go out and find tournaments to play in. So what they do is great. And then there's another $50 fee to get into skins and there's another fee to get into high stakes. High stakes basically means $50 to... Uh, like let's say you're not happy with the $1,200 pot depending on how many uh, guys are in the tournament You'll pay, pay $50 and typically you'll get about 450 bucks if, if you come in first second place is usually about $250 so that's the way that breaks down You can see all the days that I competed for this year. So I paid $9,033 to compete green fees this covers high stakes and skins for the most part because I typically always get into all of the games. The cost to get into these games is usually about between 350 and 380 if you get into all of the games. 9,300 bucks and I earned $9,067 which means it's pretty much a wash. I lost a little bit of money. It doesn't include traveling costs, hotel costs, that is something completely different. It's something I won't cover just because I'm not sure how much I'm able to cover. And my accountant has told me to kind of keep my mouth shut about it. Although I'm not doing anything wrong. I mean, I'm just paying to play, but I don't know how much and I don't get into the legal stuff. 
because I want to avoid any trouble. Although I did pay my taxes and everything turned out okay. So yeah, my amigos is pretty much I spent nine thousand, a little bit over nine thousand dollars to uh, compete in 2018. That's 27 tournaments, and I won nine thousand sixty-seven dollars. I uh, broke even. What that means is that you know sometimes you'll make money. There are some guys who make a lot of money on the three-day tournaments, and that is really good. Like say we go to Las Vegas. And you win for three days, you can walk away with four thousand, five thousand dollars. You could pay a thousand dollars in and walk away with five G's if you win a lot of money. And like the year end tournament, you could pay eleven hundred bucks and you could walk away with forty five hundred dollars. Um, I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't win a lot of money on the year end tournament and I didn't win a lot of money in the Las Vegas tournament, and that's what hurt me a lot. Oh, and Terra Lago. I broke even at Terra Lago, which is the last tournament of the year. So that's where you'll make the majority of the money for those guys that do do that. I didn't in 2018 and it really cost me. So I think that's pretty much it, guys, is that um, it was a wash in terms of uh, buy-ins and earning money, but I did have to pay to travel and equipment and blah bitty blah bitty. and that's just part of the business. I mean, you gotta put in money to make money. So uh, it's another year of experience. I know this um, video has come a little bit late, but I wanted my taxes to be completed before I did it, and I think that's it, guys. Um, I know I've slowed down on production, and I apologize all of the time because I feel bad because I would like to compete. I, I mean, I would like to show you guys more stuff. But the truth is, is that golf is hard. This is not a hobby for me. And so it takes time. You know, whenever I edit and shoot footage, it takes time away from practicing. And that's what I don't want to do. That's it. That's all, my amigos. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time. Oh, yeah.